dear students so you are very familiar with determinate structures there are basically two determinate structure one is a cantilever beam other one is a simply supported beam two determinate structures you have familiar you are very familiar with that and you also know from module 2 how to calculate degree of static indeterminacy but i want to give you some insight into this concept of determinacy and indeterminacy if you are looking around nature almost all the natural structures what you are going to find in nature are determinate structures the very basic structure that you can see like if you look around this or are trees okay you have seen trees and if you anal if you want to analyze a tree you can assume it to be a cantilever structure because the base or the root is embedded in the soil it's kind of a fixed support at that base and in the top it is free so it's basically like a cantilever or else if you are considering some uh, structures like caves okay when there are two stones and one stone get uh, placed over the top of it you are going to get a cave a simple dwelling for uh, animals and humans in the prehistoric ages so that is also a structure which is natural and it is a determinate structure what you are having is two supports and on top you are having a third support so that is also a determinate structure and uh, in nature you are going to see almost all the structures as in as determinate structures but if you consider the man made structures okay the best example is a building so if you are considering a building you are going to find that almost all the members in the building are indeterminate if you are considering the case of a beam okay a beam collector connected to two columns what is the case there the beam is rigidly connected to the two columns so if you consider the beam alone okay if you consider the beam alone there are two columns and it is connected rigidly to the columns so the two end supports of the beams can be considered as fixed and you know that if both ends are fixed it is a indeterminate structure and almost all the structural members what you are going to find in case of man made structures are indeterminate so why we are going for indeterminate structures when god preferred determinate ones okay all the natural structures are determinate structures but the man made structures are indeterminate so that's a very basic thing that you should look into only if you get that concept you will be able to appreciate indeterminate structures okay so i said that majority of the structures are determinate in nature but can you name a structure in nature which is indeterminate there are structures in nature the best example is creepers or parasites okay the best example what i can say is maavile varuna ittil kanni you might have seen that okay if there is a heavy wind what happens the whole mango tree can get toppled down but even in the toppled state that ittil kanni is going to stay there have you ever thought why it stays there and the big heavy mango tree was not able to sustain that wind if you look closely you can observe that this so called creeper is having roots every now and then okay for a tree it is having a root at the base and it is cantilevered but when we are considering this creeper it is having roots every now and then is going to have roots which basically means that it is having lot many supports when something is supported on one hinge and a roller we call it as a simply supported structure and when there is one more support in the center it will become indeterminate and this creepers or parasites are having numerous number of supports so they are indeterminate okay when a structure become indeterminate they are highly stable okay that is the one thing which humans tapped and started creating the structures as indeterminate structure and there is another fact if you are observing the branch of the mango tree will be this huge but what about this creeper it is only this much okay if a branch of a tree is having say 10 meter length you can assume how much thick the branch will be so that it can have a span of 10 meters cantilevered 
but the scraper if you are pulling it out and if you are stretching it for 10 meters you can see that it will be having 10 meters but the thickness is only this much so when we construct a structure as an indeterminate structure we can have slender sections okay so these are the basic two things which are forcing humans to go for indeterminate structures analysis of a determinate structure is very easy if you have the equations of equilibrium that is sigma fx sigma fy and sigma m equal to 0 you can analyze any determinate structure but if you want to analyze an indeterminate structure additional equations additional compatibility conditions and all those things are required so even though the analysis is tough if it is an indeterminate structure but we prefer indeterminate structures because of these two reasons okay one is the stability and the second is the slenderness okay so these are basically the importance of indeterminate structures